Check out our forecast, everybody. Starting to get some light out there on the horizon now, just a couple seconds away from 613. And uh, yes, there are a few clouds as well, but uh, we're going to have a fair amount of sunshine today. And uh, similar to yesterday, will range from mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. And similar to yesterday, uh, the waves along Lake Michigan are going to be basically non-existent. Zero to one foot waves here this morning and afternoon. Once we get into this evening, perhaps some waves closer to two feet as the southwest winds do pick up just slightly at about five to ten, even 15 knots at times. And uh, the inland winds won't be very strong today. But uh, again, we may have a breeze to 10 or 15 miles per hour on occasion here, Grand Rapids and Kalamazoo as we get into this evening. And the reason for that is because high pressure that's situated very nearby right now or just off to our east is going to continue to shift towards the eastern seaboard and we'll get further removed from it and uh, the pressure gradient will be slowly but surely increasing uh, in between that high and our next approaching weather system that will be bringing about some rain. It does look like later tomorrow night, though I will say the models are kind of slowing down just a little bit such that uh, probably the best chance is going to be overnight and into the day on Monday. Seasonable temperatures next week, folks. Uh, it looks like a number of afternoons next work week are going to be running right around 80 to the lower 80s. So even though it will be warm and increasingly humid this weekend, yes, it will be humid this afternoon, not so much this morning. Uh, it is tomorrow when we get in on the real sticky weather but it only lasts for about a day or two. Yes, it'll still be sticky on Monday, but we'll have a lot of clouds around. We'll have that chance for rain, so it won't feel quite as humid as it will be on Sunday. Sunrise, by the way, at 627, a sunset at 910 today. Days are still pretty long. You can get really warm this time of year, as you know. In fact, I think the record high for today is officially 100 degrees. We won't be anywhere near that. Uh, the radar is vacant of any shower activity or storm activity until we widen it far enough to get out into Minnesota, stretching southwestward into Nebraska. That's where there is a corridor of showers, even some embedded thunder and lightning at times. But, uh, you know, I don't think at any point we're going to be dealing with severe weather around here from this approaching system for later on tomorrow night and the day on Monday. This is Tropical Storm Hannah, folks, and a well-defined eye there. So this system has come together better than uh, probably anticipated certainly several days ago it was, as it was just a tropical wave coming out of the Caribbean and it moved into the Gulf of Mexico, became a tropical depression, now a tropical storm just a few miles per hour away now from becoming a Category 1 hurricane, and that is the official forecast as we go through this late morning and afternoon. This system will start to increase increase in intensity just a bit. This is not going to be a major uh, issue, but it uh, will produce some flooding rains there for South Florida and also some winds that can gust to about 75, 80, 85 miles per hour on the high end as it does come ashore. It will die a quick death, though, as it runs into the mountains of Mexico by early next week. Temperatures on the board, we've got, uh, well, lower 60s at the moment and a southwest wind that is very, very light and basically calm, but it will pick up uh, here late morning and afternoon. Dew points are around 60 degrees and you can see that red line that shows you where the dew points are going over the next 24 to 48 hours and they do get into that oppressive range on Sunday we will hang in there on Monday as well then begin to fall backward and uh, we are going to become much more comfortable with our feels like temperatures for much of this upcoming week having said that tomorrow is going to be very very humid and heat indices may in fact get into the upper 90s to around 100 degrees for a stretch there on Sunday afternoon we go to the European model this time around and it does have a few clouds maybe Mixing in with the sunshine today, so it won't be a complete blue sky, but it will be close enough with enough radiation that we're going to make it into the mid to upper 80s. And then you see that belt of rainfall. It will be kind of broken at times. It's not going to be a real well consolidated wall of water descending upon us, but I do think we've got a good shot to get some appreciable rains on the order of a half of an inch from this system as it does come across overnight Sunday and through the day on Monday. So some rumbles of thunder, strikes of lightning possible, yes, but I think heavier downpours, that's what we need without the severe weather, and I don't think we're getting severe weather. It cruises on through, Sarah, and look at these temperatures. I think most people can agree to like that. Monday through Friday temps, lower 80s, minimal chances for rain and low humidity. All right, well, when you call nine.